Hello everyone, welcome back to Breaking Point on F1 23. Last time we just finished the British Grand Prix where we had to overtake Aidan Jackson, then keep him behind us and for bonus finish in top 10, which we did. Uh, finish third at Cali's home race. So without further ado, let's move into chapter 13. I did not like Aidan. Not at all. Why not? I thought he was immature about what happened in Baku. I, like, I never really got over it. He was aggressive on track, and the paddock talks. He just wasn't happy at Connor Sport. Thought he was too good for the team. He just had a bit of an attitude problem. It's already complicated, and I've told you they don't need to know. Well, it's your call, of course. But the dishonesty makes me uncomfortable. We'll talk about it later. Yes? Let's make this quick. Or maybe we could get Casper a bit of our time. This wasn't scheduled. What, are you too busy for us now? Just tell them, Casper. Andreo, please. Can we get started? Yeah, Aiden's got a meeting at Mercedes he needs to get to. Enough! Enough! Okay? This... This is what we have to talk about. It has to stop. Understand? If we can't pull together now... If we can't pull together, we are finished. Wait, what does that mean? Andreo? It means that if we don't finish fifth or higher, Butler Global will pull funding. And I don't think we'll find an investor to replace him. Not now. Wait, what? Casper? Yeah, it's true. Well, then we're finished. Andrea? We're finished. So, yeah, Dad brought me onto the team and then immediately threatened to shut it down. Why would he do that? It's kind of his thing. Sounds somewhat true. Because he, well, he didn't support it, trying to get the F1 and just support it having solely. So, not so bad. So, we're now at the Austrian Grand Prix. We're praying forecast that the Austrian Grand Prix kind of spot open that the gamble of an early pit stop for Cali pays off. Oh dear. Okay, Kelly, I'm sure you've got questions, but we think we know what we're doing here. We've got information that says more rain's coming, and so, because we're the first ones to come and make this change, we can turn it into an advantage. So on your outlap, let's make it all count. Copy that. Right, so we've got the Alpine and Alpha Romero. Great. That's the rain. Aiden's coming in for his stop now. And Bennett is finishing his top five. Whoa! Let's use overtake and burn off some of this energy. That's not the issue I'm going to have at the moment, because this is going to be the first time I've been in any sort of condition. Let's make this differential bit nice for myself. Okay, Stuart is now disabled. DRS. DRS is now disabled. That's fine. Right, there's our key. Good guy, Wow. Professional, where are the other Alpine and Alpha Romeo drivers? Well, they're quite the same. Well, 
love searching opportunities. I love David's match corner. Okay, so I can uh, now I can do the bump a lot more than I did this last lot. lot. And it does as a lead. Hmm, question is, it does as a lead a bunch more drivers. Behind by two point five seconds. Now that's good. Okay. Ooh. So much more clear. Right. I can start on the inside of the power wall. Right, so, you know, Judson's in nine, four seconds ahead, and um, we'll be stuck with this lap, you'll be set. Set on laps. That's all good, sorry. So what are we going to get to you again? Oh, I don't need to back to get past you. Oh, there's our call. Okay. Right, he's just under three and a half seconds ahead. Whoa! I got away. Okay, that was very unusual with the flashback. Okay, that was a bit dicey there. Well, I'll take that. Right. Okay, you're in the top ten. Hopefully, you're off on the last of the Alpine and Alpha Mary drivers have to get first. Well, let's see. Oh, there is a squad of cars there. Like a group of four. Well, it's not even good for stopping. You shouldn't be this far now. Oh, come on. I like the stopping. Okay, I got wrong. Oh, man. Oh, that's just now clear. So, realistically, in order to get the main objective, I think. Get a bonus objective as well. Ooh. Oh, we're going to too much on the top of that. I don't know. Right at the I don't know if I made contact with Roger, right? I didn't feel like it. Alright, we can get past Potash here. Oh, come on. Alright, I rotate on him and Stroll. Stroll went so defensive there. This could be another top three finish. That I get as Carlin in F1. Pretty bold, quite simply. 
this way. What the heck was that from Norris? Did he just try and throw it in on me? That was dry though. Definitely feels like it's dry though. I don't feel we're just going to lose too much time coming in now for slug tyres. Right, pull that for any. I think that's the time to know when slugs are going to lose, probably when it says the RS and animals. But with a spread I could still see coming from the cross ahead, I don't think it's this time. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. That's fine. So we've got three and a half laps to go. And um, obviously in the rain you don't use the much fuel. <laughs> Still I'll kept a hold of it. Uh. Charles are probably going to just fight each other, which is going to allow us just to easily catch up and find a way past at least one of them shortly. Ooh! That's all I did. Now we're way too happy on the throttle line. Okay, the stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. Yeah, this way you do wait for the race to come in for slicks. Right, Charlie Pops, Charles. Here, Perez Space. And let's just pull away. Quite comfortably as well. I just get to feel there's going to be some sort of calamity that's going to go on. So I get a feeling deep to now being out of the race is to do with being fit behind the constructors. Ooh. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Yeah, that's fine. Going on these sides, car no beat on the drive track. Uh, okay, we seem to be fine on this car Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 15.5 seconds. Hmm, that's a rather surprise.
Okay, well, there's some obviously to keep it clean. And this will be Tony's first win in Formula One. By over five seconds from all sides. Ooh. Give it up back here. Going there wins the first race in F1. Congratulations, Cully. You keep going like that, you might just prove me wrong yet. Cully? Oh dear. What's going on? Said at the time that it might have been too soon, but in hindsight, Cottesport really did make the right call. They have made the pit stop, changed to wet tyres ahead of everybody else. That was a real turning point in the race. Yeah, you've got to get these decisions right, and not everyone did today. It's great to see Collinsport taking their chances like that. Wonderful race by Mayer. If they want to improve on last season, they've got to try and do something different. Well, they did that today, they timed it well, and Mayer, well, she continues to impress. Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. Well, the Collins won the first race, but what was that about at the end of the team communications? Oh, well, about it. Well, we're going to find out in this post race cinematic. So, fortune favours the bold. The early tyre change allows Cali to get the jump on her competitors in the midfields and secure a solid finish for Connor Sport at the Red Bull Ring. Uh, no doubt, Aiden's not going to be happy because Cali got the. the First pit stop. Cali, great race. What do you mean, prove you're wrong? I was just trying to congratulate you, that's all. Prove you wrong about what exactly? I didn't mean anything by it. I was just saying well done. By reminding me how little you actually believe in me. Cali. <sighs> you are a piece of work. <sighs> but it was a great race. You said you'd keep him away from me. I'll talk to him. How is he getting involved on comms? Well, he didn't ask, he just did it. Yeah, he'll do whatever he wants until someone stops him. No. I said I'll talk to him. That was a great result out there today. Let's forget about your father, okay? Yeah. Good. Looks like he's found someone else to talk to anyway. I was about to say, Davidoff needs to learn when to keep his mouth shut sometimes. He's like, if you just said great race, it would have been perfectly fine. So, yeah, who knows what's going on. Casper. Oh. Hey, look, I've put measures in place to clamp down on who can access Team Radio now. Thanks, I guess. Mm. Look, it turns out your father talked Mark into it. Says something like, you're not going to keep me off team radio on my own team. Yeah, well, I guess Mark can be a bit of a pushover at times. Um, look, I've stopped Davidoff from attending this press thing later, so that's something at least. Oh, thanks for that. How did he take it? Eh, didn't like it. I think he sees all of this as publicity for Bottler Global. Yeah, sounds like Dad. Yeah. I'll stop by later too. So see you there. See you there. Okay, so that thing. Oh, oh, oh. Mum, Kelly, I just got your text. To prove him wrong, he's got a nerve. He really gets to me, Mum. I know I shouldn't let him, but I can't bear it. Him and his little games. Call him out on it, Kelly. Say something. I did. I spoke to him. And? 
He said he didn't mean anything by it. He said I did well today. Unbelievable. What else do you expect? An apology? I... I don't know what to do. You keep driving, Callie. That's all you can do right now. The rest is just fluff. If only it were that simple. Oh, fair point. Don't envy you, darling. Not one bit. I'll leave you be. Bye, Mum. Hopefully that's now all in the past. Hopefully that's all the involves this one, so... So, yeah. Well, Mr. Future World Champion, yeah. Yes, what? Work on races. Go. Okay, so that's just like people's favorite ones. So, let's talk about that. Emails. Alright, from Linda. New comms claims protocol. Hey, everyone. Just an email to outline you on track radio comms claims protocol that we've in place. It's effective immediately for both Aiden and Callie during practice, qualifying the races. This works by most of you, but you'll find the new procedure attached. Any questions, just let me know, Linda. There we go. As always, the same, please be careful. Press and social is going to be speculating over the team's financial situation. However, so we ask you all to be careful when and where you discuss team related business. Andrea is keen the team doesn't descend into a series of closed door meetings. Well, that requires trust on the part of all of them. these employees. Thanks for your understanding, Elisa. That's Bill saying, congrats to everyone on the entire strategy. We're the best team out there today in terms of our decision making and our timing. We keep going like this and we'll keep it, keep all with the best of them. That's what we're saying. Our team quick reminder about the press call today after the race. It's a big feature piece that everyone in the spotlight, which will help to prove the race team's profile and continue our quest to build a positive brand and identity. At Casper's request, the team, the piece will largely be largely focusing on the drivers and all required attendees should. Would you have emails in the calendar? Yeah. So, well, probably just won the first race, so let's move on to chapter 14. Which takes one place, one more place at the Italian Grand Prix. As the grid heads to Monza, fractures within the team continue to play Connor Sports. Oh, what have Kelly and Aiden done now? Hey boss, got a couple of minutes? Uh, we're getting reports of a bit of confrontation down the garage which we thought you should know about. Kelly overheard a mechanic bad now ago and she called them out on it. The mechanic called her privileged and out of touch. But she won't make an airphone because she doesn't understand how punishing it can be. How do you want to handle it? Sounds like to me like Kelly already took care of it. She's used to this kind of thing, she can handle herself. Uh, Righty. Let's go with that. Well, let's see what happens with McKenna kind of getting this warning. Might do something to performance. No? Okay, so that was not too bad. It actually just worked out. Oh, he's calling out. Hey, Sandra. Hey. Guess who's on his way in? What, Davidoff? He just called the office. Arrange him a lunch, he says. He treats the office staff like his uh, uh, personal assistants. He shouldn't be a drain on our resources. Look, I'll, I'll talk to him. Can you let the garage staff know he'll be wandering around down there and make sure we have the usual room set up for him? Yeah, no problem. Roll out the red carpet. Davidoff's in town. Last I heard he was joining us in Singapore, but today he just shows up. Don't let him get to you like this. We'll handle him. <sighs> Remind me why I went into business with him. At least you have an F1 team. For now. Look, he wants us to succeed. Doesn't always feel like it, Cass. Eh, I'll see you in the meeting. Hmm. Yeah. Right, uh, what? Well, okay, I was expecting to call with Davidoff, but... 
The only slot might be something during the Arsenal. All right. Uh, Linda saying Davidoff change of plans team. We just had word that Davidoff will be around this race weekend due to the last minute change of plans. He's requesting an update on the course, expecting in and around the garage. Does that ever answer these questions as best you can, but don't let him get in the way of your jobs. Uh, from Phil, disarmony in the garage cockpit. An update on the situation in the garage. There are a lot of opinions flying around on Kelly and Aiden. Also bickering, some saying Aiden's not delivering, some saying that's because Ka Cla Callie's clear priority, if we can actually be clearly. The atmosphere isn't great. I've had a word with one or two of the team and told them to watch their turn of work. I've said it's fine for them to have those opinions apparently, but professionally, they are members of the team. Obviously, I want to do my best to get out of the garage, but I'm also worried about escalating the situation by doing anything too drastic. I've used a live touch for now, but keep an eye on it, just want to keep you updated. Phil. See? That's something good from Phil. Always doing. Alright, so... Nothing there. Well, let's get to the race. Oh dear. More questions or what now? Could you take a look at this please? Andreo ambushed. Andreo was cornered by a reporter when heading out of the Hero Hotel earlier this morning, asking if he regrets again his Formula 1. We know Andrea to be a passionate man. This, coupled with the already tense situation, may have made him stops come across a little fiery. This might require some damage control. How do you want to handle it? We wouldn't be an hour if it wasn't for Andrea's commitment and passion. Yeah, some fires will be sent for the team, but I'll stay with that. Thanks for supporting Andrea. Uh, uh. I mean, let's go with that because it'd be an interesting one. It'd be an interesting response. Everything else looks fine. It's just about that rear wing. I don't want to sacrifice any more downforce. It's okay, it's your call. Now, let's uh, check the weather again in an hour. Oi, oi! <laughs> Did you miss me? Hello, sis. Hi, bro. Jackson. Devon. How are you, Devon? I am excited. Very excited to be involved again. Now, you you pretend I'm not here, you carry on, please. Involved? How? Oh, you know, just a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of... Uh... Involved? How? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Huh. And what does Andreo say to that? He'll agree, Casper. It's fine. Were they pleased to see you? People are always pleased to see me. And what was your new role? Uh, I guess you might call me a liaison. Yeah, I just, I love to liaise. <laughs> Dad wanted me to talk to people, keep people's spirits up, give some friendly words of advice, that kind of thing. But uh, it was tough. Yeah, Aiden still had that ego. Still thought he was too good for the team. Wouldn't listen to Casper's advice, that was a problem. And then Andreo, he was worried about the future of the team. He had dad breathing down his neck. And Callie, well, let's just say Callie wasn't really looking for my advice. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, honestly, I'd only been gone five minutes. <laughs> no, it's a case of that bell pointed you to be spy in his mouthpiece. Because Davidoff has a control issue where he can't let people others just do their job. All right, so we're at the Italian Grand Prix mid race. With your brother's return, sit on the ruffle a few feathers that you already shake your consoles. Kelly focuses on the race and the continuing battle with her teammate Aiden Jackson. All right, what are we dropping into now? Hopefully not another collision. Two teammates not exactly doing each other any favours this afternoon. For me, they're a little bit too close for comfort. What is Aiden playing at? Tell him to back off. OK, Kelly, he knows. Clearly he doesn't know. <sighs> yeah, same old stuff. Jackson really wants to make a move out there, but Mayer, no chance. Not letting him pass. 
towards the curve of Grande we go. He's going for it. It's really close. It's going to be the There goes Mayer's front wing. Oh, Aiden Jackson, what happened there? This now seems like a running theme at Connor Sports. Yes, this race is critical for them. When are they going to just pull themselves together? Okay, box please, Kelly. Let's get that wing replaced. This is a joke. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Yeah, copy. I'm guessing I've got traffic. No, I've got guy back to the pits. I'm guessing there. Let's see what the object is going to be after we replace the wing. Please, I should come in a nice place. Okay. Okay, thankfully, it's on the other. Then sorted with differential great bias. Bonus is to finish ahead of Jackson. No problem. Just need to finish on the points. And we're 50 with six laps to go. I do I do. What the heck was that from? Both of them. Not me, from Scenario. Well, got on the eye, I mean, I have to, I should focus on Catch up to Piaffi is six seconds ahead of me. Although we are just going to find Pine hand over the first here. Okay, gap to the car behind. Car behind, 2.1 seconds. Oh, I'm not soon. I've got one of those bat markers as well. What? Okay. Really we got all the way here and there. Okay, that one's too bad and got close to like that far to the Astri. Yeah, I could run a lot better. Now let's just close the gap as we get to the new Scottish again. Okay, here's the gap that we're trading the car ahead by. 1.9 seconds. Put it on that last move I'm not going to go to the RS, so no fun raising the battery for the moment. Well, I've found so much time now. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. I know if we go even faster than that. Let's rewind that bit.
from those yuppie bin hunk over up there. Let's win. Oh, they're still in that nice ladder. There's Ocon and Sergeant, who some of them know. Yeah, then this would be a preferred world of a if it's not more time for us. Oh, I just got a pair of them. Great away. Not a bad one there. Where's Jackson? He's... Fifth place, I believe. Right, you have some time off in April. Let's see what we need. Gap to your teammate ahead is 9.3 seconds. Now they'll get 3 seconds a lap on him. Which I reckon is doable. Oh, I'll have to take a couple of cars along the way. Right, that's the one, so honestly, before we go, okay, to the last nose. I've already half a gap with Jackson, so that's not an issue. Definitely not clean. Fine. That's not enough. Not worried about that though, getting his nice strip, slip screen. Oh, that'd be nice. That's a big power. Hello, Jackson. <laughs> Easy as you are. Oh yeah, he's going to try something right out. Ooh, hoo hoo. Thank you, Lalo. I just realised, I reckon that guy's probably trying to serve this Facebook so you don't have to keep spending the team and therefore force the team to disband. If he doesn't want his daughter to succeed where his son didn't. Which if his if I saw the allow creation career I'd probably amazed. Three saw Hamilton this last one. Well, so all there's a third place that was in there. second last round. Mm. 
Uh, second place, so now. Now, if there's a second, I'll not fall ahead, actually. So, I'm going to be up to catch you both. So, I'll take the third place. We just seem to get quite a few times this column. Just use all the battery. Oh, very well, third place. Bye, Martin. Yes, and that's a podium. Excellent drive. The whole team have worked especially hard this weekend, and that, my friend, is a fantastic reward. Well done. So Mayer managed to pull it back at the end, but if this continues, Connor Sport are in real danger of sabotaging their own chances of a decent finish this season. There is so much talent in that team, and yet they're their own worst enemy. The reason they're not making progress is each other. Ridiculous state of affairs. And it's clear that Jackson continues to be the aggressor. Is it personal, Natalie? Well, you know, it does seem that way from the outside looking in, but... All I know is they just can't go on like this. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive. Yeah, he honestly can't go on like this. It's kind of a bit ridiculous. Well, let's see how we can answer this. Again, another eventful race out there today for Connor Sport, Kelly. Is the team sabotaging its own chance of a decent finish this season? Oh, let's go there. <laughs> Punditry is your job, Natalie. No, I am not here to comment on those kind of narratives. I will stick to driving the car, thank you. Everyone is talking about Devon's return to Connor Sport today. So is it good to have him back around again? Uh... Do we go against the dad and the brother? Yeah. <laughs> the thing about Devon is that he has an opinion on everything, and if he doesn't have one, then he'll just make one up. We're not short of opinions at Connor Sport, so I guess I'm worried he's going to be a distraction. Well, look, I'm loath to ask how bad your relationship is between you and Aiden, but there's been more contact today, so just enlighten us. I mean, since when we're two teammates, the best of buddies. There's always going to be a bit of friction. So, you know, I, I want to win. And Aiden wants to win. And yeah. we get in each other's way a bit. That's the sport. That's F1. Now, in the past, you've refused to acknowledge the role of your father in getting your current seat at Connor Sport. Why is that? Uh... What I said was, I'm here because I deserve to be. I'm here because I can drive. I stand by that. Yep. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. Now, uh, uh, so with Paris Grace, the Connor Sport teammates continue to shoot themselves on the port, with Maya and Jackson getting into another on track tussle at the Italian Grand Prix. Fortunately, Kelly manages to turn the trail of British from the points. So it's clear to all that Connor Sports problems aren't going away anytime soon. Right. No doubt there's going to be a phone call. Go on then, let's have it. That's no way to answer the phone. Say your piece, mother dearest. Fine, if you want to be like that. I did say you need to be careful what you tell the media about your father, didn't I? That was the perfect opportunity today, to smooth it all over, but no, you only reinforced what everyone's already saying about you. That's just how I feel. Oh. <laughs> I... You've got a stubborn streak in you. I think it comes from your father. Definitely not mine. He was always so determined, unable to admit to his mistakes. <sighs> What's your point, Mum? My point is that nobody likes your father. <sighs> Sorry. Just be careful, Cal. Yeah. Thanks, Mum. I'll let you go, darling. Ciao. Hello. Uh, what well, now, Hey, Andrew. Callie, about Aiden. I want to thank you for your uh, 
Diplomacy, shall we say? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's what I would have said anyway. It's no bother. You're a real pro, Callie. You neutralized the issue so well. I can spin a story. It's in my blood, sadly. <laughs> yes, we best not talk about where you get that particular trait from. <laughs> I'd rather we didn't. Would be better if we could use those skills to make the story go away completely, but we take what we get. Thanks, Gally. Yeah, I don't trust anything that Dobbyoff says. So, Pep and the uh, problems now we're doing. Oh, we just wanted to. Oh, God. That, from Dublin Polo, your new superior. Of course, it got the email like that. All right, so it's new role, new email address. Use this one from now on, Tar. I know it might be a bit awkward having me around, but I just wanted to say, try not to think of me as your boss. I'm your brother first. And just give me a second. Ugh. Yeah, right. Devin is fine in private, but if you could stick to Sir in public, that'd be great. Yeah, right. If I was your sister, if I was your sibling, I'd try and keep your ego in check. Nice way you sat there today. You keep out that you might actually make a career of this motor sport mark. Yeah, right. Uh, That's from Andre to both. Callie and Aiden. That's not a surprise. So, right, so we somehow managed to get another third place finish with Callie at the Italian Grand Prix. So, I'm just wondering what the next chapter is going to do in store, but I'll we'll find out in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed any of this content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again next time.